Hello and welcome. This is Cheryl. I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a snowman die and turn it into a shaker tag ornament. Now, I absolutely love dies. I love die cutting. I think they are very versatile because you can choose whatever colors you want for whatever layers you want. But I always love finding new ways to use them that are a little bit unexpected. So for this one here, we're going to take this snowman and you could just layer it as normal and have a flat tag. But by turning it into a shaker tag, that is also a card that can be an ornament just kind of does double duty it also gives it an interactive element that is kind of addictive to keep playing with so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm cutting the base of the snowman and i've got it on a folded piece of cardstock right there but i'm not cutting through the top of the snowman to create a card so that fold itself at the top there is not going to cut it'll be part of the ornament and then you can write your message in there um, when you add it to a gift or when you give it to someone or whatnot. If you didn't want to have a card on the back, you could just die cut the ornament flat and um, just have a shaker tag that you write on the back of. But I like the idea of having a card within it as well. So I'm also die cutting a piece of acetate as well as a cardstock front. Now, acetate doesn't like being die cut and it often will warp when you're die cutting it. By adding a piece of cardstock, it'll just help die cut it a little bit better. And we're also going to be using that piece to create the front of the shaker tag. So you can see I'm putting a circle die at the bottom to cut out a circle for the bottom part of it. And then right after that, I'm gonna use a smaller circle and cut out an opening for the head of the snowman. This just gives us an outline for the front of the ornament so that we don't see all of our foam tape. And it also gives us an area to glue our acetate onto. So we're just using very simple shapes to cut out the parts of the snowman that are gonna end up being the shaker part that is visible. So take a look at your dies and see which ones you can use that have some areas that have some openings that you can cut out some basic shapes to create some shaker tag ornaments. It just gives them another life and it makes it more fun to find different things to use your dies with. So I'm taking the little pieces for my shaker tag and I'm um, gluing them together. This colorized die has a lot of different layers that you die cut with different colors of cardstock to create the final look. It's a great use for cardstock straps. I love colorized dies for using up cardstock scraps because most of the pieces are fairly small. Most of the time, unless you're mass producing them, you don't necessarily need to have a lot of one color. So it's perfect for using up scraps and creating some fun tags. So this die itself has more layers than I'm actually using. I eliminated some of the layers just because we're creating a shaker tag with it. So some of those layers aren't necessary for detail. I don't think it adds anything, but it also doesn't take anything away by eliminating them. So I'm taking my front with the two circles cut out and I'm gluing it to my piece of acetate. I'm using some distress collage medium and then I'm going to put an acrylic block on there to hold it down while it dries. You do want to make till it's completely dry before we continue on. You could also use some double sided adhesive to do that but then you don't have any wiggle room when you're putting your piece down. So just choose which one you want. I prefer the Distress Collage Medium for the most part, just because you can wiggle things around if it's not placed exactly correctly. So I'm putting some narrow foam strips on the back of my front of my tag. This way I know exactly what part's going to be hidden and what part is going to be exposed. I'm making sure that I don't have any openings between my joins. I wanna make sure that everything is completely sealed so that none of the shaker bits will fall out. I'm gonna be doing two layers of this foam tape and putting a little hang hanger in between it so that it can hang off the gift or you can attach it to a gift. The other reason I'm doing two layers of the foam tape is when you're die cutting the acetate for the snowman, the acetate tends to buckle a little bit while you're die cutting it and there's not really a way to avoid it that I have found anyways. If anyone has heard of a way, please add it down below because I'd love to hear of a way to eliminate that. So by adding the second layer of foam tape, we're just making a wider area for those shaker bits to move around in. 
once I have the hanger attached, I start with my second layer of foam tape. I'm making sure that my joins for my second layer are not in the same spots as the first layer. It'll just help hold anything closed so that none of the shaker pieces come out of it. Once you have the foam tape on, you can add your shaker bits. I like to add a few different things and usually I collect little jars of whatnot. Most of the time it's because I like the jars, sometimes it's because I like the contents. So I have some snowflake sequins, I've added some mica flakes, I also have some sil sil little silver balls or whatnot, some punch snowflakes that I've used uh, punch to punch out of cardstock scraps, just a bunch of different things that'll make it fun to shake the tag. Nowadays, there is even companies that create packages of little shaker mixes or whatnot. So it's quite easy to find a bunch of different things and a bunch of different choices of what you can add to your shaker card. Once you have everything added, you can take the backing off of your tape and you can glue the tag back, backing onto the front of the tag. Press around all the sides just to make sure that it has good contact with the adhesive before you flip it over and shake everything. Otherwise you might have little bits pop out of some parts where it's not glued down. Now you can take all your little accessories for your snowman, you can glue them on. I'm using the same Distress Collage Medium to glue them on so that I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I will wait for this to dry before I do anything with it. All the pieces fit right into place nice and easily. And by using the Distress Collage Medium, if anything has to be moved into place and um, some adhesive gets shown, it'll dry completely matte so you won't see it once it's totally dry. Now I'm going to put some dots of adhesive where the eyes and where the little carrot nose goes and use some tweezers to put those in place. Those pieces are really, really, really tiny, so they're not so easy to handle with your fingers so i use some nice fine tip tweezers just to place them and to move them if that is what is needed now these brown or these black dots that i'm using for the eyes and for the buttons they get die cut with the hat you could always use some enamel accents or something like that and use that instead if you wanted a little bit of a different texture and if you wanted it a little bit easier to put these pieces on i didn't find they were too too hard to put on with the tweezers and they're quite easy to move into place with the wet glue. So the last thing I do once my glue is completely dry is add some stickles. So I'm putting it on the berries and I'm putting it on some of the areas of the scarf of the snowman. It just adds a little bit of extra sparkle and I think it gives it a different texture and makes it look really really pretty and festive. Now I just use regular cardstock scraps for this, but you could absolutely use some glitter cardstocks, metallics, whatnot, just to add a little bit more seasonal sparkle to it if you wanted, as opposed to just doing the stickles. Now once the stickles is on there, you do need to wait for it to dry completely, but then you have the cutest little shaker card that you can also use as a gift tag, and then finally use it as a tree ornament once it was done being used. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this, and I hope it's inspired you to learn. look at some of your dies to see if you can turn them into shaker cards or turn them into tag ornaments. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.